Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Julia Surface and I am a current junior at the University of Tennessee Knoxville, double majoring in accounting and marketing with a collateral and supply chain management. And by the time of this video, we are gonna be talking roommates. So before I start giving any advice, any tips and tricks, I feel like I need to go on ahead and explain my roommate situation and just like how I found my roommate, who my roommate is. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably have seen my roommate in several of my youtube videos she was in my very first youtube video that i posted which was our magnolia hall dorm tour video that i think now has like 12,000 views something like that so yeah she's pretty much been in my videos and through my youtube experience since the beginning but if you are new here my roommate's name is emily and we have lived together for three years. So how Emily and I became roommates, it's story time. Emily and I actually knew each other for quite a long time. We went to the same middle school. So we both went to Signal Mountain Middle High School. We went to middle school together and we weren't necessarily like friends but we were never like not friendly to each other does that make any sense we liked each other we just never really hung out with each other we didn't really have similar friends we just didn't really run the same circles in high school i saw her a couple times i didn't really like hang out with her a lot either in high school because i actually transferred high schools i went to baylor school and she stayed at Signal Mountain Middle High School, but I definitely saw her around. My boyfriend went to Signal Mountain Middle High School, so I saw her at events, and one of my best friends was really good friends with her in high school. I found out that Emily wanted to go to UT. She, I think, decided to go in like September or October, so she knew she wanted to go very early on, and that was before COVID, so UT was pretty much doing admissions. Like, as soon as you apply, they would let you know in like, two to three weeks if you got in and now I know it's so different they let everybody know in like December so it's completely changed but she committed to UT in the earlier part of fall semester of 2018 which was our senior year at that point I had applied to UT I got into UT and definitely was really considering going but I wasn't really sure for a fact that I wanted to go I applied to Sanford University and Sewanee so I was kind of waiting to see like what I was going to get with that with financial aid and everything. Um, just kind of trying to see like where the numbers were going to lie. So I was not 100% set on UT, but that is kind of when we started talking it was probably around November, December of 2018. And she was actually looking at other roommates and stuff because I wasn't really sure if I was committed yet and wanted to go. So she was looking at other roommates and stuff, but we said maybe, you know, we would work really well as roommates and maybe we should definitely look into it more if I decided I want to get a UT. So January rolls around and I decide I'm going to UT. And so I kind of text her and I'm just like, hey, where are you at? Like, do you have a roommate yet? Like, what is your situation? And she was like, hey, like I've had a couple potential roommates, but really not anything just like definite. So, you know, if you are committed to UT and you're ready to go and you feel good about being a roommate with me, then I'm ready to be a roommate to you. That's kind of just how it worked out for us. We um, chose housing, I believe in March or April. I know once again, things are just so different because of COVID. They changed like their entire policies and just how things work. But we chose housing in March and April. We got Magnolia um, because she had a really early housing window because she signed her housing contract super duper early like back in like October um so we got to like have one of the first picks and it was incredible and great and we lived in Magnolia and we lived there for two years and currently right now we're in an apartment and it's been great I've loved my experience with my roommate and I definitely know that my roommate experience is definitely not typical it's very unusual. Most people do not live with the same person for three years. It's definitely a long time. So I know that I have been very privileged to have such a good experience. Um, but I also want to say that yes, it is a little bit more uncommon, but you can definitely have a roommate experience like I've had and it just works out perfectly and great. And I truly do hope that that's how it ends up for all of you. That being said, so some of the tips and advice I'm gonna give y'all today is not from personal experience. I did not find my roommate online. I didn't use any apps. I didn't do anything like that. I literally just knew Emily personally and we kind of just felt it out. And luckily 
we became roommates and it worked out. So some of the things I say I do not have personal experience from, but I have definitely listened and learned from my friends and just people around me about the roommate situations and how it worked out for them. So while I don't have personal experience myself with some of these things, my friends and people I know do. So these things that I'm gonna tell y'all have been successful and have worked and hopefully will be helpful to you guys. So something that worked out for me was using my friends and just kind of word of mouth. It's always good just to see who from your area is going to UTK or whichever college you're going to. I am from Chattanooga, Tennessee, so UTK is our in-state school. So there are definitely going to be people that are going to UTK for sure. Obviously, if you're going to a college that is not in stay or is like not really quite as common, it's probably going to be a little bit harder for you to use this tactic. But if you are in stay or you know a lot of people that go to a certain college that you're going to, definitely utilize the people around you. Just ask around, you know, who's going to UT, etc. Okay, I will definitely say it can be so easy to room with your best friend from high school or your childhood best friend or whoever because it's comfortable it's easy you don't really have to put a lot of work into it but i will say it can work out but i definitely caution you all from doing that because every person that i know room with their best friend from high school there definitely were some fights not anything luckily too crazy that like the friendship completely ended but there are definitely some fights and sometimes it's a little awkward to be living with your best friend and you're like in a huge fight over something and you know you're in a shoebox so I would say definitely caution yourself to doing that. I'm not saying that it can't work out or that it won't work out, but definitely just be aware that living with your best friend and being someone's best friend is kind of two separate different things. So just be aware of that. Another piece of advice I have is to utilize social media. I think this is probably the biggest one that you can do that I think is the easiest and probably the most efficient. I think probably 75% to 80% of people I know found their roommate through social media, whether that be Instagram, Facebook, um, some of these other like meeting apps. Like I know in the past UT worked with like room sync. I know there's like room surf maybe. There's like some kind of like patio app. Like I said, I do not have any personal experience with these apps. I just know them from just from hearing about them. But I would say that social media is huge when it comes to finding your roommate because you can kind of just get a glimpse into, you know, what someone's interested in, what someone's life's like. And then if you really think you might jive with them, then you can kind of delve in deeper and like, you know, start to actually text them, Snapchat them, FaceTime them, call them, maybe even meet up in person. I know for me, one of the coolest things that I didn't necessarily find my roommate through, um, but just like finding people with similar interests, just following people, getting to know people in my class at UTK was um, the Instagram page that they have. I think now it's like UTK class of 2026, something like that. But obviously when I was gonna be a freshman, it was UTK class of 2023. Those Instagrams are so helpful. You literally just like post a picture of yourself and like a little description of who you are, where you're from, like what you're interested in, um, things of that nature so that people can kind of just like get a glimpse of who you are and um, what you're passionate about, you know, what you're interested in. And I think that is so helpful with just finding friends, but also definitely finding potential roommates and sweet mates. Instagram is the way to go. I would also say Facebook groups are also really helpful. I know there's so many different Facebook groups that people utilize to meet each other. Um, I've actually never had experience with them, but some of my really great friends actually met their roommates and sweet mates through Facebook groups. So that is another amazing resource to use. Another great resource that you can utilize through UT is if you are looking to live in an LLC, you can kind of look and see who is going to be in that LLC and kind of narrow down your search of your roommate. I think it can be so intimidating, especially at UTK. It's just such a big school and there's just so many people going there. And so it's just 
really intimidating to be like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna find a roommate out of all of these people that I'm gonna get along with and they're gonna get along with me and it's gonna work out. It's just, it's a little, it's a little overwhelming. So I think if you are looking to live in an LLC, I think that'll definitely narrow down who can be your potential roommate. And obviously if you're an LLC, you have some kind of similar interest, which is always great. I know LLCs at UTK can range from honors programs to majors to just things that you're passionate about. So that's always just a really great place to start at if you just are not sure what you're doing roommate wise, but you are living in a living and learning community. Okay, so say you have been talking to some people, you've got some potential prospects, what do you do next? Like, how do you decide, okay, like this person is who I wanna live with, who I wanna be with? Well, I will say that it can be kind of difficult, especially if you don't know that person in person. Like luckily for me, I knew Emily and I knew that we were pretty similar in our personality and our habits. So that was really nice to be able to like know her personally before going to college. But it can be difficult when you meet somebody online and you really don't know their habits and you know their living circumstances i would say the best thing to tackle that is just write down a list either on paper on like your phone maybe even just in your head just like a list of like things that you must have in a roommate you know if you're somebody that likes to go to sleep early you probably should make sure that your roommate's okay with going to sleep a little bit earlier and is not like some crazy night out that's gonna keep you up all night if you're somebody that's a little bit more organized and like to keep your space clean and well put together well you probably want a roommate that's going to respect that and will also you know be clean and organized as well so i think just kind of creating a list of like things that you have to have for a roommate is important but obviously you have to keep an open mind nobody is perfect pretty much everybody is just not a perfect roommate okay it's just it's just not gonna happen you're gonna have to kind of like get over things but if you have like some select things in your mind that are like must-haves I just think it makes the search for a roommate so much easier because you know what you want and what's expected and then when you ask that person those questions obviously like they kind of know like what you're expecting out of a roommate and it's just it's just good to have some open communication. Another thing that I think will really help narrow down your search and just really verify in your mind that this is the right person that you want to live with is to be able to talk on the phone with them, FaceTime them, or ideally meet up in person with them. I know for some people meeting up in person is just not realistic because you may live in different states, your schedules just aren't working out, but I really do think that if you can like talk to somebody and hear their voice or see their face or just anything like that, it'll just really help you get a better understanding of who they are as a person. Another factor to consider is some people kind of in their mind have a set dorm or kind of dorm that they want to live in. So some people want to live in community style, some people want to live in suite style, some people want semi-suite style, some people want pod. You know, everybody kind of just like has their preferences on which dorm they want to live in. So that's also something to keep in mind when you are selecting your roommate. I hope this advice and some of these tips were helpful. I hope that you guys will have the best experience finding a roommate. And I know that it can sometimes seem challenging and overwhelming, but just know that it will all work out the way it's supposed to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.